What else you use for inflammation? Everyone should be, unless there's a, a reason not to, a baby aspirin. Mm-hmm. Baby aspirin is known to be very anti-inflammatory. Um, mm-hmm. Additionally, it is an iron chelator. And okay. I am convinced that as we get older, we are all sort of plagued with intracellular iron toxicity. So even if your blood studies tell you that you're deficient in your bloodstream, your body stores iron in your cells and that causes more free radical production via the the Fenton pathway. Um, Anyway, so if you take iron chelators that can get into your cells, you can get rid of some of that. And there are studies that suggest, well, number one, this is sort of interesting. If you look at people, older people with cardiovascular disease that have been on aspirin for more than two to three years, there's a significant proportion of them that get iron deficient anemia. Mm. It's binding the iron. So it might be bad for them, but honestly, it's good for us. There's also studies that suggest that the entire anti-inflammatory aspect of aspirin may be due to the fact that it chelates iron, which precipitates inflammation. 